All right, guys, so I just went to the store and I'm just got all this food. This is what we got. We got a couple packets of beef jerky, some chips. I've let the air out and already folded up. Uh, two packets of smoked mussels. I got some more tuna, some almond gold, and one can of warheads. So I'm gonna add that to my bag. I've also got one bottle of water here and one little bottle of water here, and we're good to go. Let's do this. All right, guys, so we are now approaching the pickup point for our river crossing. We're just heading to that river up there. Hopefully we get picked up and taken across the river. All right, guys, we just made it to this wharf here, but look, it's dead flat low tide. I, I reckon your boy can cross that. I reckon I can cross that. What do you, what do you reckon? I don't reckon we need a boat. What are you thinking? Oh uh, yeah, check it out. This is us guys, I just bought this from the shop. That's just to pet me up this morning. We're gonna smash back a Warhead Sour Lemon Soda. Now Warhead Sour was a sour lolly that came out in the 80s. And uh, now they've made a flavored drink to honor it. So yeah, let's just smash back this Warheads and make a start to our day. Oh yeah, man, that's sour as. So after we make this boat crossing, then we start on a 14 kilometer hike today. But I don't know where I'm stealth camping, so I'm just gonna cover that much distance. My bag's pretty heavy. I stocked up tuna, beef jerky, a couple bottles of water. Hello, sir. Thank you for picking us up, sir. Yeah, I... same same group of people. Sorry, Joshua. Nice to meet you. I'm actually from New Zealand. This is a foreigner here, though. Oh, sorry, mate. I'll just assume you're all part of New Zealand. Uh, I just uh, come from Okura and uh, Fongaruru. Oh, is that where you're from? Yeah. Okura. So I just oh, yeah haven't oh, come far. Oh, so, yeah. sweet, mate. Getting through it though. Hey. And getting through it. Yeah. And you were born and breathed from up there? Uh, no, I was born in Auckland. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. Good area, mate. Hey, before you jump in, can I just put that on? Sure. Thanks, mate. Oh, Did you guys meet you? on the trail? Or? Yeah, we meet on the trail. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice you too. Where were yeah. you from? I'm from Austria. Austria? Uh, yeah, because I'm from. Because of weight, I'll get you to sit there. That's right, Sarah. And Josh, I'll get you to sit in there, mate. Sure. Well, yeah, just jump in, mate. We should be able to pull it under us. No, in the middle? Yeah, you're just right there. Is it okay? Just right over here. That's cool. You're in here. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, mate. What made you decide to go for a walk? Yeah. I just. Go to bar. Ah, I just, yeah, I just want to go on an adventure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got no reason, man. No, way to go, I mate. got no time limit. My my daughter just saw about the same thing. She had a bit of a change of life. She said, well, I think I'm going to do the bottom of a uh, tear over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On, it yeah. goes past my house, so I was like, yeah, yeah. Let's just, just jump on it. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we're all in the boat, and uh, let's take off. Awesome, we made it across. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. This is the scale of this map, one kilometer. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yep. Okay, so we're here. In five kilometers time, you're going to be at the Horahora River. Mm -hmm. Now, so the Horahora River, it's low tide time today. It's different from these other rivers. It is um, at 10.15, which is in three minutes time. 
that's about its dead low tide. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's going to take you. Your video is there. Yeah. Absolute speed. Um, so it's so I don't forget. Yeah. Anyway, okay. I'm going to keep this. So in, the, in one hour to an hour and a quarter, you're going to be here. So you're going to be crossing this river at about an hour after its low tide. So the tide's just going to be coming in, yeah. but it's a very shallow. Totally doable. You can actually walk it two hours after it's low tide. You'll be getting there at an hour after it's low tide, yeah? Okay. okay. So that's why I was keen to get you over so you can travel. Alright, so I'll run you through the details. So you'll be turning left, heading up here. You'll be going into Violet's property. This is all part of the Mario block here. You recognise this by a steep downhill. It's, it's pretty. Um, it's, it's a pretty rough road, and you walk on through. You'll, there's a couple of offshoot roads here, but there is a marker just above that here, so you'll be following that road mm -hmm. up yeah. here. You're going to be walking onto her lawn in a very short space of time. There's a dog there, Sebastian. It's super friendly. It's fluffy. It, it will bark, but it's it's fluffy. It's not a muscle dog, yeah. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. You're going to be walking on the edge of your motor lawn. Wow, this is awesome adventure. <laughs> Smells bad, eh? The deep, the deeper you go, the the, the worse the smell. Right now, we're in a, a smelly, squishy swamp. But hopefully, we're getting through it soon. Oh man, what an adventure! Be careful, this is cutting grass. Look at this swamp. We just gotta follow this. <laughs> Your man's so hungry. He's considering about having some candy sticks. Let's have one of these, eh? I haven't had one of these since the 80s. Yum. Links up in. Okay, so if you want to go So guys today we're walking along the trail and that is the start of 
an estuary crossing so that's straight into a water crossing we're gonna have to cross that at <laughs> so tomorrow we're gonna have to cross that uh, at low tide to make it across and so tonight we were walking along wondering where we're gonna stay tonight so we can wait for low tide and because it's raining and we noticed that there was a guy painting at this house and he said yeah you can put your hammock up in my front yard and stay here so you can start your journey so i'd like to thank steve for letting us stay on his property he was so nice that he invited us up to his house uh, to have a shower and I'll show you the shower that I used it was glorious we have a shower guys when you jump out you literally have to put your hands on the side and then like jump out how gangster is this especially after walking 14 kilometers today and having nowhere to camp tonight i was going to pull a stealth camp um but uh i've been invited to stay here so this is us tonight now steve was so impressed with my hammock hanging skills that he said i don't need to stay outside tonight and has invited us to stay inside his new airbnb we're going to be the first people to stay there and yeah it's awesome like you won't believe inside it's awesome i'll take you for a tour through there soon right now i'm going to pack down my hammock it's no longer required i'm going to make sure that my tarp is dry for tomorrow pack it away and get it all ready because tomorrow we're gonna make an estuary crossing let's do this man yeah boom just like that i'm packed up and got my gear away ready for tomorrow just hanging my tarp there to dry so it makes it a little bit lighter for my backpack and now i'm gonna show you what i upgraded to from your man head and hammock was in the tree and then all of a sudden he's been upgraded to a brand new airbnb and uh we're gonna try it out and be the first ones to go through this new exciting accommodation can you dig that because i certainly do all right guys straight up if you want to see good new zealand hospitality check this out because i just got delivered a pizza and look at this bottle of wa ice water this is unreal guys i went from a side of the road been walking 15 kilometers to hanging my hammock in the trees to upgrading to in here and the owners have just bowled on through with a pizza like your man your man's just aesthetic this is true and good wholesome new zealand hospitality at its finest it's so no nah. so this, yeah, man. this is like a homemade pizza. I can't believe they just whipped this out, man. Look at these whole olives on here, man. And look, we got cheese. Oh, man, this is unreal. Check out your man. Oh, my God. After hiking all day with this crazy Austrian girl, man, and, and to be eating all this, like, Man, your man's so happy right now. Head and hammock. Oh, you want to know where I'm hiding my hammock tonight? You want to know where I'm sleeping? Just look up. Bam. That's my sleeping bag. It's in a bunch right now. And that's my thing. They've got a cargo net. So if you want to jump across from floors, you can like climb across this cargo net, man. This place is unreal. So yeah, I'm still in a hammock tonight. But check it out. I'm like in the ceiling. How's that, man? Hidden hammock. Yeah. Stealth camping adventures through New Zealand. Yeah. Upgraded to Airbnb with the cargo net. This is where I'm sleeping, guys. On the cargo net. Yeah. Like a pirate. Alright, YouTube.
a good night. See you in the morning. Good morning, guys. What do you think? Is that awesome? I'm f flipping, hanging the roof, man. I'm hanging on a roof on a cargo net. Alright guys, I'm going to get up and get ready. i got a premiere in about an hour and a half, so I want to pack all my gear. I also want to show you around this place we stayed. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to go start on an adventure. Good morning. So yeah, we got to make a river crossing through there today, guys. I'm excited. It's going to be epic. That's where we stayed last night. And that is the start of the adventure. All right, guys. So before we go, I just want to show you where we stayed last night. So this is the lounge area. They beautifully have like framed the window. This nice velvet blue couches. Came with a microwave. Look at this beautiful old like copper faucet. And they had a gas here. Look at this. Sit up here. They had another little bunk room here. Obviously, you could sleep a couple of children there or small people. And uh, I'll show you the bathroom before we go upstairs. So this is the bathroom. Look at this. This bath wasn't available to us. They're still trying to plumb it in but look at this all copper um, shower heads and a composting toilet whoa and look at this copper tub once again faucets yeah nice touch eh and I'll take you for a little tour upstairs before I embark on a 17 kilometer hike through uh, to a beach today so uh, yeah check out this this is just like the last step is like this vacuum oil company. I don't know what it is, but you have to actually stand on this box text. It's the last step. And then bam, you're into the roof. Little bookshelf, little double bed and the thing. And it has this amazing cargo net where I slept last night like a hammock over to another little bed over there. So yeah, isn't that cute? I'm gonna go now. I actually forgot to film the scene and I came back. But yeah, that's us. And that's where I slept last night. Thank you so much for your hospitality. These are just awesome hosts, super host, super awesome hosts with the most. Thank you. All right guys, it's a new day. This is us, start of a 3K stretch of swamp. It's dead low tide now, so it's not gonna be too exciting. It's pretty well drained at the moment. Um, not like yesterday when I went live, but uh, should be an interesting day. Hopefully we make it to a beach and then to a mountain. <laughs> 